With a bit of insight into the international school system at the core education level, I was curious to find out more about the private university school system. Australia boasts an excellent tertiary education system, albeit an expensive one, with a large range of flexible study options available to all members of society. Meanwhile, university education in Albania is not depicted in a positive light by local media, with numerous scandals continuing to be reported. Just before I arrived in 2014, the government closed down 18 private universities on the accusation that they were operating as diploma factories. This wasn't the end of concerns over tertiary education in the country by a long way, but it did help to clean up the private sector at least. As such, today, Albania does have private tertiary education offered at international standards. In fact, students from all around the world choose to study in Albania, and you might be surprised to find out where they are from. My name is Benjamin Yusufi. I am an Albanian who originates from Macedonia. My name is Tino Tendaisha Makiriano. I come from Zimbabwe. I was born there, but I grew up in America pretty much my whole life, 18 years there, so. Uh, my name is uh, Tuka Rahman. I'm from Jordan. I've been born and raised in Jordan. My, uh, my cultural ancestry, my mother is from uh, Baghdad, Iraq. My uh, father is from uh, Bangladesh. So it's a cultural roller coaster. I grew up in Norway um, since I was two years old. My parents immigrated for the reasons to get some work over there. And um, ever since I've grown up there, I um, finished both elementary school and high school. After that, I took part in the Royal Norwegian Air Force. And after that, I decided to come here to Albania to continue my education. How did you first hear about Albania? <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie Taken? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first sound of Albania. And then I didn't hear too much about it. And one day my dad had asked me, oh, what would you think if we moved to Albania? And I was like, you like, no place from that movie? <laughs> oh, no way. But then after I did some more research, I found out it wasn't that bad. And then mm -hmm. secondhand, when we came here, even better. My parents and uh, our family were planning to move to uh, Turkey to live there. And uh, my father's friend, he, he was in Albania and he called him while he was in Istanbul. And he told him, there's this country, Albania, it's really nice, you have to come and see it. <laughs> and so you said you've been here for three years, is that purely for studying? Was that the intention of why you came here? That was the main reason to why I came here. So walk me through your thought process in returning here for, for studying. After I finished with the Royal Norwegian Air Force, I wasn't really quite sure where I would study, but my father's uh, cousin, he really suggested me to come here to Albania and maybe, you know, at the same time as I was getting an education in something that I was interested in, mm -hmm. architect, uh, architecture in this case, um, I also would do, would come closer to the Albanian people right. and the mentality and the culture and maybe, you know, try to get an understanding for of my roots. So do you think in comparison to Norway that you're getting, you know, a European standard of education here in Albania? Well, in this case, since I uh, since I study here in Epoca, I would say yes. And then when I come to Epoca, there's uh, not too much difference, but there's just like just some slight differences I have to get used to, like maybe a little bit of the language barrier, the ways they explain things and just Sometimes, like in terms of math and everything, they do it a completely different way here in Europe than in America. It's, right. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's very different here, but it, that's the only other one that's really different was math. But the education is pretty, pretty good here. I really like it. Education is key mm -hmm. because you need people to be more aware of the situation, regardless of whatever it is. Because even if there's economic difficulties, if people are aware of the fact that they are developing, the fact that nothing comes overnight, mm -hmm. people will be more open and accepting of this process and welcoming it and even working on it themselves. Are you looking for employment opportunities here in Albania once you finish at university? My plan myself is that I want to be able to contribute for mm -hmm. my own people and uh, do something and just, just be a more of a treasure than a burden to the people. Mm -hmm. That's actually what I truly want to do, either if it's uh, Macedonia or Albania. I would like to do my utmost to help this country out. Yeah. 